Today on the show, we are talking wellness with Dr. Grant A. Fairbanks from Fairbanks Art of Plastic Surgery, and Tripp and I have a movie segment you're not going to want to miss. And I actually have a TV segment, because you know what? We all watch much more TV than movies. That's why it's more important. Very true. All this and more happening right here, right now on Talk 365 TV. Here we go. And welcome back to the show, Trip Mitchell, Holly Love, and Holly is going to talk about running and drinking beer. Right, two things that go perfectly together if you are someone who likes to run and also likes beer. You've maybe never thought about it. I, I Honestly, I never have. I mean, <laughs> so I've been around hockey players who mm -hmm. love beer. The funny story for me, when I moved back here 10 years ago, gosh, Anyway, I, got, I just called out to the rink and got on a team and didn't know any of these guys. And when I lived here in the 80s, if you were LDS, you did not swear. Right. So fast forward 10 years ago, I go to my first game and there is a lot of swearing. Uh -huh. A ton of swearing. So I go, I'm on a team with no LDS players. Right. So I brought a case of beer to the game the next week. Uh -huh. I went home with 23. Right. <laughs> Turns out that's been the change. But in hockey, beer is very, you know, it's part Post of the culture. A lot of Canadian. Canadians yes. love to drink beer. Absolutely. I'll tell you a quick funny story. Okay. Back in the early 80s, a very rich... LDS businessman decided that he wanted to have, he's a Canadian guy, mm -hmm. wanted to have a great hockey team at BYU and recruited oh. some amazing players. Uh -huh. But they forgot to tell him about the honor code. No beer. Nope. And then they took off. They took off. A short-lived season. Yeah, it was over in December. <laughs> Everyone got kicked off after the first game. Yep. Well, so Craft Pub Runners is run by a group of guys that we've been friends with for a really long time. Sam Beasley, Nam, Paul, they have been working on this group. It's a social club, basically. You can go and meet them on Tuesday nights. They pick a new spot to rendezvous, usually somewhere around downtown Salt Lake City or greater Salt Lake area. Um, I know they ventured down to Lehigh a couple times. And basically, you meet at a brewery and you go for a three-mile run or however long you want to go. Some people run, some people walk, some people are training for marathons. Some are very serious on diets. Others are just there to enjoy the company and have a good time and get out and have some much needed social. And they just have so much fun. Such a very cool group of people come together because you have the athletically minded, you have people who want to be more athletically minded, and then you have the coolness of people who just love really good craft beer. And Utah, hello, we are surprisingly really good at craft beer and also spirits. We have a number of breweries and also other places that have been popping up. Our Dented Brick friends over oh, there, sure. I love their gin. Well, it's, it's one funny of my faves. Be because South Salt Lake realized mm -hmm. that they had an opportunity to attract, you've got Dented Brick, you've got a bunch of distilleries, a bunch of breweries, and it's been great for tourism and economic development Gary Birdsall, our friend from the South Salt Lake Chamber, it's amazing. Right, and if you're new to Utah or you are newly wanting to get out again, this is a great opportunity to meet like-minded people, get That's an opportunity to go taste different restaurants and get a feel for their flavor. And it's always organized and set up, so you can look them up on craftpubrunners.com. We just had an event at the Bohemian Brewery, which was amazing. It was so much food, and the food there is amazing. So by the way, my nephew moved down to Texas mm -hmm. and had trouble meeting people, so he got into a kickball league. Oh, nice. Kickball is the dorky. This no, guy was a kickball was my favorite game on he was recess. A college athlete. I bet he rocks at kickball. I love it. I would go to the kickball league. That sounds so much fun. Embarrassing, but if you're new to town, an organization like this, great way to meet people. We've got to speed it up because Sylvia's got us on a hammer Tight schedule. Today. We got stuff coming up next you're not gonna to wanna to miss. We're gonna be talking all about cosmetic surgery and plastic surgery and who you want to do yours. <laughs> 